Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Mudrunner. Now, as you can see, we are not on the map that I was on when I left you last week. We were going to continue on playing the Badlands. Unfortunately, some sort of Mudrunner update has removed all of the mods that I had installed, so they all disappeared. Uh, which is a great shame. I have now got all the mods come back again, which doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. The Badlands did have an update and has had something done to it. So yeah, I really don't know quite what's going on. It might be because I've had my computer on for three days and not actually switched it off. Um, and it's run through some updates or something. I, I, I don't know. But anyway, so we're going to have to go and restart the Badlands, which is not really what I wanted to do. There has been a slight update with it, so there's been a couple of uh, little changes with it as well. Now, we were using the Blunted K-20. Now, these here, the Red Rocket, Mail Call, El Bouncio Blanco, and Bouncesaurus, are all in a pack that has just been released by somebody who'd already had released a pack of vehicles that look like this um, called the Snot Rocket Pack. Now, any mod that is called the Snot Rocket immediately gets bonus points from me just because it's called the Snot Rocket. So we're going to take some of these... And um, I'm going to use that one there, I think. We're not going to take loads of them. And I don't know if I'm going to take... I'm not going to take any other mods on the map because I don't want to risk it. I don't want to run the risk of it all going horribly wrong and pear-shaped um, and bad things happening to us. Now, you can see that the, hunt, the, the hunter... Was it? I think it was the hunter. That mod has disappeared and there's another mod that's disappeared. So there's lots of... Strange happenings at the moment with the mods in the game. I'm not quite sure why, but um, they are. There, there is there is strange things going on. And we could also take the C6317. We know that that one is particularly good. And it might also be well suited to this map because we need something that has got a bit of oomph to it and is able to get... Mind you, that one there is actually quite good. Short wheelbase on it, and it's performed well for us in the past. So I'm thinking that we'll go with that one right there. So we've got the off-roader, and then we've got the other bits as well. So let's try this one. Oh, it says continue the Badlands. Let's try it. Let us try continuing the Badlands. We don't have the mod that I had when I was using it previously, so whether or not it's going to put us back to it. We've got this one near a fuel station. Did we bring this one to a fuel station? I do not remember bringing this one to a fuel station, so this I'm a little bit confused about. Let's take a look on the map and see where we are. So we've got our main garage over here. Now, we were bringing a vehicle over this way towards the watch point, and I don't know why I'm here with the C260. This seems odd to me. Uh, however, I will move it a little way. I'll, I'll just bring it in here to the fuel station and we'll load it up with fuel. Let's see what we can do with that. I'm just going to park that one right in there. Just like that. And fill up. Fill up all the way. There we go. Right. And the truck itself is automatically refueled. So we'll, we'll leave that one there a minute. I'll stop the engine. And I want to go... Right. I've got an A1351 over there. That has gone out of the road that way. I don't think I did that, though. Okay, I'm, I'm not really sure what's happened here, but it's, it's obviously moved a few vehicles around and done some things that are different to what we'd had before. Oh, I did bring this one out here. I remember now. We did This one we did bring out. Uh, the only thing is that we tipped it off the cliff, and now it's um, it, it seems to have been repaired. So that one is fine. We could actually recover that one to the garage if we wanted to. I don't want to. The blunted K20 over here. Oh, I know what's happened. It's basically it's reloaded our save, so it's reloaded the mod that we the mods that we had here, and has gone no further. So. We, we don't have the new one, the snot rocket that I wanted to have. That one's not here. At least I don't think it is. What was that one called? Let me just, I tell you what, let me just go back to the garage up here a second. If we go to that one up there. Now, what have we got over here? Nope. We do not have the snot rocket. These are at a log station. Oh, there's a log station and a garage right there. I see. Right. 
All has become clear. We have gone back to our safe. So we are able to continue on our progress, which I'm going to say is a good thing. I'm, I'm going to say that's actually a pretty good thing. We'll use the snot rocket another time. I mean, I don't think that particular mod is actually called the snot rocket, which is rather disappointing to me, I've got to be honest. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, we, we can um, sort of advance from there. So we'll take this one on through. We also need to decide where exactly we're going to go with this bad boy. Uh, well, if we've got down here, I think I remember now, we wanted to come up that way and we wanted to go on around here so we can get past that lumber mill. We've got the fuel station up there with a C260, which is one that we've sort of gone past anyway. Uh, we just need to stay on this track. We need to come up here and we want to keep going up this way, I think, so that we can get to there. At least that's where I think we need to go, which is actually that way. Seriously? Uh, right, well, that wasn't quite... <laughs> the guy who made this map, I said this last time, the guy who made this map, evil. Absolutely evil. Look at it. Look! How are we supposed to do anything with this? Uh, let, let's try a... Um, wonder if I got a winch. I do have a winch point. Excellent. Okay, so we're, we're able to do something here. If I can just wi Okay. Um, I'm thinking it's going to do the same with those, so I don't have a winch point. Oh, that's just tickety-boo. That's just wonderful. That's just what we want, isn't it? Uh, I got one there. Maybe that one will work. Let us see. Nope, there's just another tree. Um kind of need that to, to go backwards. If I can get it to go... Ooh, easy. Uh, I have very quickly... I gotta, I gotta work quick. I gotta work quick. Work quick. Um, do that. My bonnet is under the water. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. We have managed to rescue it. Just. Only just, though. <laughs> right, we've got to remember that there's a deep pit right there. I do not want to drive into said deep pit. I want to go round the deep pit. So I need to go over to this point. And how are you even supposed to get logs through this map? I mean, seriously, how are you supposed to get logs around here? Because look, off the side there, that's just going to... You, you're going to need something really slow and powerful to be able to get through any of this, I think. I'm also thinking that the snot rocket that we was um, I was talking about may actually genuinely struggle to get through this map. I mean, it's it. I think it's a lot faster. El Bouncio and and crew uh, that they seem to be considerably faster than what you'd really want. You'd want something slow, steady that is like basically just iron hard and uh, never going to make a mistake at all. I mean, this one here is, is going slow, but we, we are getting somewhere now. If I can keep going on round, I'm, I'm sort of in danger of sliding off this road at any point, at all times, by the look of it. It's, it is struggling to get round here, but we're doing it. I think that um, moving logs in very small quantities is the only option we're going to have. But we can go on up here. This is actually working all right, this is. We can keep going up through here. Like this. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. No, we, we, we want to go steady on this bit. We don't want to go too fast around here. He's, he's hopping and jumping a bit, but he's he's getting up around there. Yes. Okay, we've climbed the cliff. That is the first bit that we wanted to get to. And what have we got over here? I now want to come round. And oh, that's just a, oh, that's that's the actual no 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 don't 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 don't. If I I would go forwards, if I go if I go straight forwards, maybe I can rescue this without tipping over. Yes, I can rescue it. Just right. There's a lumber mill. There's what <laughs> you got to make a delivery there. You're having a laugh, aren't you? <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I really don't know how we are going to be able to deliver anything anywhere on this map. I mean, seriously, how are they expecting us to do this? I mean, I'm sure the bloke that's made this has secret weapons. I bet he's got mods that he knows work really well with this, but he's just not telling us what they are. Don't slip off. Don't slip off. This truck is really good. It's 
sort of. Um, well, it was until I got hold of it. It was really good until I got hold of it. And... Where am I going now? Right. Well, I do actually want to get down to that bit. That is the next bit that I want to go to. Um, if I look here to the fuel station, that comes up from that way. But it's not actually on the road that I'm on. I mean, I think maybe there's a, there's a bit of road there. But there's also this road that comes around here. Looks like it goes up that way. Uh, and there's a watch point right here somewhere. So can I rescue this? Is my vehicle over... If, if it's at 90 degrees or more... if it Well, yeah. If it's less than 90 degrees, you're able to keep going. Yes, I'm able to keep going just because it's at just the right angle for this. So if I take that there and then I go on to a winch source over there, we're able to rescue this one. So I'm just going to winch it round and the engine has stalled. But it may have... I'll tell you what, actually, if I take that off and I go back onto here, I go to the lower side like that and... Put it on there, I think. I don't know if this is a... I don't know if I should be doing it like this. I think I do actually want to put that one on the higher side. Because I'm pulling it from this direction. Get off of there. And then... That's more like it. We drag it over like that. Uh, I'm, I'm over the 50% mark now. If you get past that 50% mark, you can't do anything. Yeah, the 90, 90 degrees. I'm almost exactly on 90 degrees, which means that I'm unable to do anything. I can't move. I, I, can't, I can't do anything at all. I'm, I'm completely stuck. Uh, well, that wasn't part of the master plan. Right. Well, if that's not going to work, I suppose we could... Let's try a suicide run with this one. We've got this one up here. Am I able to go and reach the vehicle... All the way down there. Now, where is it? Uh, you know, it would help if I actually had the right direction to go. So, there is the blunted K120 there. So, I want to do that. That is the direction that I want to go. It is just 50 meters away from me. It is down across there. Okay, that should be easy enough. If I back up this way. I reckon we can do this. I have supreme confidence in my... I don't actually have any confidence whatsoever that this is going to work. Um, I'm telling lies. I'm, I'm completely and totally lying to you all. I have zero confidence that this is going to work at all. Um, it's just something to do for a minute while I try and think of an actual plan on how to rescue my off-roader over there without having to go back and start again. Um, and I, I don't think it's going to work. And I don't think this is going to work <laughs> either um you never know it might because look we've got a tree over there so i can at least pull myself forwards we keep going like that and there we go right so i've managed to get it that far i i, I may need to oh, no 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 i'm able to get through i'm gonna i'm gonna get hopelessly stuck but i'm still able to get through sort of Right, if we go to that point there, I've got another tree over there. If I can get onto that one, I may be... Ooh, would it be better to do that one? I think we'll try that tree over there for now. Zoom out just a little bit. There. Right, and then if I do that... Ah, I'm stuck up against a tree. That doesn't help. If I sort of haul it over this way... No, we ah we we may I may be able to do this. The idea is I'm going to use this one as a basically a, a a rocket, um just just some sort of large fuel-filled missile that is going to aim straight down. No, don't tip over, don't tip over, don't tip over. I just need you to stay upright just a little bit longer. There we go, a fuel-filled rocket right into it. Um. Maybe I should have just stayed up the top and pulled the thing out. That that might have worked a little bit better than this. Uh, <laughs> right. I didn't think that through, did I? But I tell you, we can at least pull ourselves back up here. Uh, um, 
As far as good ideas go, I had a good idea right up to the point where I decided to drive off the side of the road. If I bring this one back up here, right to there a minute. Um, now, this is going to be the next tricky bit. I can take that off there. Now, if I could bring that, i tell you what, I might actually be able to rescue this still. I may be able to do this, and in order to do it though, I'm, right, if I can put a winch on there, I will turn the wheel around sharp like that, and I will back up a bit more, it's only got to go a bit, like that, you could stop there, no, no, tip over, oh, there he goes, um, right, <laughs> it wasn't supposed to do that I thought you know I'll park it here and then I can put the winch onto the truck and I can pull it back and it's gonna work really really well but no it didn't work really well uh, <laughs> right um, there's no point in fueling up that's, that's not gonna do anything the engine has stalled Okay, let's try changing, changing, changing truck. Did I move you enough? Nope, I didn't move you enough when I ran into you, so I can't do anything with that one either. Um, right, um, my my um, options are becoming more, more, more limited. How can I get over here? This is the difficult bit: is getting onto this track. If I could get onto there, I think that goes up round that way, and then I could come through here again. Or we go along here. We go up that way, along there all the way around here from there it's downhill on there so maybe i could do this with the small jeep that one right new plan we're going to take this one and we're going to try and rest i'd like to do this without having to uh, we're going one one attempt i promise just one attempt we'll recover that one to the garage yes there we go and we're going to take this one and we're going to go to the, the other vehicle. I need the diff locks and, and, and the, the other stuffs. And we're going to go up here. I'll tell you what, we will mark it on the map. So we want to go over to there and then to there and all the way around to that point right there. And then when we get there, we want to head off down there. If we can. If we can get down there, we might be able to get underneath this one and haul it down the road. If we can do that, perfect. That's going to be exactly what we want. So, we'll take this one up through here. Now, we should be able to get through with this one without too much difficulty. It's, it's a small, small vehicle. And the absolute worst of the tracks I'm hoping that we're going to bypass, we're not going to have to worry about. So, in theory, this shouldn't take too long. And it should be quite a, a manageable operation that we're going to try. So, we want to turn here and we want to go up this bit. It's easy to miss that turning right there. And then we come over here. So we want to go right... We're going all the way around the lake. We're going to bypass this lake. We're not going down there. Because I don't think this vehicle is going to be able to cope with going through that lake anyway. I think it's going to really struggle to get through there. So we come on past up through here. There we go. No, 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 no. This map is so unforgiving. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, I, I really thought I was about to just drift off sideways anyway then, but no, no, we've managed we've managed to stay upright. I'm, I am wondering if this one's going to have the strength to be able to winch anything anywhere. I, I'm seriously questioning that aspect of this plan. I don't think it's going to be able to do it. I just think it's going to give up and stop. It's going to take one look at it and it's going to be like, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to roll onto my side like everything else has done down there, and I'm going to give up completely. I'm just not going to bother. It's too much like hard work. Right. Now we're getting close to the point where I need to dive down over the edge. This is the bit. I need to get down there. Um. Wow. Okay, that's a bit steeper than I thought. Um. Right, well, remember how we did this last time? We were actually able to lower ourselves down over a cliff reasonably well. Right? I'll just bring it back up to the top a little bit. There. We we actually able to do this reasonably well. It, 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 it kind of worked. So I put that one on there and then onto the winch like that. And then just drive. 
And basically, we've just got to hope and pray that the winch works. Don't. <laughs> oh, is it? Uh, it's, it's, it's not gone far enough. Um, and plus, we've just completely destroyed. I, I may, maybe, 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 just, just maybe, I should have had that a little tiny bit shorter. I, I'm thinking that it, it just maybe it, 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 it didn't work because it needed to be a bit shorter. Um, okay, it's time. It's, you know, I'm, I'm willing to say that it is time to give up on this. We need to go to this one, and we need to <laughs> restore. We recover this one to the carriage, and we're gonna try again. So that's a very steep cliff coming down there. Um, I don't really want to have to drive all the way around again. Uh, you know, I suppose we could always just go out this way. We, we could go on a new a new jaunt out on a different track and go along here. Except that seems to come to grief down there. I want to get to here because there's a watch point right there. And there's another watch point there that it looked like we were almost up to. And uh, I can't remember why we stopped that one. Um, so many that we've almost reached and not quite got there. So we'll leave that one. The blunted K20. We are going to recover that one over there. There we go. Right, let's spin this bad boy round. And... Night time is a, 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 approaching. Just wondering where I should... Over I think I'll overnight right here. So we'll, we'll do the overnight and then we'll carry on after this. So we just wait here... We got, um, yeah, just, just a couple of minutes. So we'll go back over here. Now, that's a very, very steep trip down over there. So maybe we want to be going out this way. We get to that point right there. And then maybe, I'll tell you what, we'll put a marker there like that. So it's somewhere around here we want to be looking for a way down over the cliff. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, though. That's a very long way down, according to the A3151 over there. And it didn't like it at all, did it? Right, 2041, skip night. Yes. Drain a whole load of fuel and then refuel again. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. We are we are going to actually make some progress now. Um, we'll bring this up here. You know what's going to happen is I'm going to go too fast with this one. I'm going to be overconfident up here on the top of the cliff and we're going to come to grief like we have so many times already this map is fantastic the person who made this map i just, i absolutely salute you i mean yes you're sadistic and evil um but i still absolutely salute you this this is absolutely incredible it's amazing it's wonderful and it's also the worst nightmare that i've ever encountered in the form of a map it's a very much a love-hate relationship that we have going on with this map. Um, and I, I feel that this love-hate relationship is entirely justified. And if you would like to, obviously, you go go to Steam. You'll be able, you should be able to search it up as The Badlands now. And you should also be able to find it easily in the mods because he renamed it in the latest update that he did. Um, so it should be easy enough to find. I thoroughly recommend that you have a go with this and you try it out. And you too will also absolutely hate and despise this map and also love it for its beauty and just amazingness and yeah it's it's awesome it's absolutely awesome and it's the single worst map i've ever encountered all at the same time okay now how are we going to get through i reckon if we can sort of do, we, do well which way do we want to go do we want well i was kind of going this way but i think that takes me up around there so let's, well, we're just going to try and get down here. So there's the sort of the destination that we want to get to. But looking at that, it looks like we've got steep cliffs going everywhere there. Uh, how can I get down there? I want to be, ah, uh, oh, there's the watch point. And there's a track down there. I think this might be the right way. It might be the right way. We may have found... The route that we want. I think we need to turn right here, but I need to get down there first. Uh, and I don't think I carry on that way. Look in here. Oh, I can't see anything on the map at all. So which way do I want to go? How do, how do I get off of this bit? He's put trees in the way. Diabolical. That's what it is. Absolutely diabolical. If I can bring this one over this way, I reckon that we want to go this way here and then straight down. Straight down there. Yes! There's a way. There is a way down. If we go slowly. 
Just ease. There we go. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yes. Thank you very much. And now we've got... Oh, that's... Um... That's not that's not the way at all. That 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 is not the way. Uh, where where is the way? Well, the way is over there. There's there's a road. I can see a road going that way, and I can see a road there that goes through that lake. Look, it goes. I'm looking. Well, I'm actually looking over here, so I can't really see. And it looks like there's a road that comes over here, but I don't think it's that one. I think that one goes up there. I think we need to continue on. I'll tell you what I will do. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to get rid of the watch point. We'll leave the watch point on there. But I think we need to continue on the road down there. That is our uh, intended route. Whether the intended route is going to work or not is an entirely different matter. So let us slowly does it. We, we, we want to ease our way down around here. And we've just we've just got to take it steady. Now... Uh, oh, there is only one route. I thought that there was an option. I thought it was a fork in the road, and that was um, quite terrifying to behold because, quite frankly, choices at this point in the game are... Um, yeah. I I'm not sure I'm fully equipped to be making adult choices at this point. Not not with my track record. Well, we've managed to find our way to... How are you supposed to get anything out of here? Seriously. There's a lumber mill. No, we we've got to get stuff into here. With this lumber mill. Right. Uh, right. Well, there's no track up that way. There's no... This is a dead end. Oh, that's just great. We, we, we've come to a dead end. So I need to go back that way. I think I need to go there. Uh, I'm further away from the lumber mill. There's a log kiosk right there. And there's the lumber mill. Why do they need... I'm, I'm guessing there's a mountain there. And we've got to go from there. And we've got to go all the way over to here. And up to there. And then up to there. And then sort of via London. And then come back over here. Um... So, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go back the way that we came. Your truck isn't carrying any load, really. I don't think this one can. But anyway, I thank you very much for that update. I appreciate it. We've now got to. My truck isn't carrying any GPS either, and a GPS would be rather useful. Slide on up this way. There we go. Right, and then we can go up this hill, in round, and I can keep climbing. I've just got to keep climbing. This is the easy bit. It's getting down the other side. Climbing is easy. Um, it's going downhill because they're very, very steep and you tend to start sliding and then stop. You, you, you can't stop. Um, and, and then things get really, really bad. And then they, they go from really, really bad to really, really, really bad. And then you end up with your truck upside down. And this is not good. Seriously, how are we going to get down through here? Are you going to have to take like one logger? We, it, we're going to need to go on foot. That's what it is. This is what it's all about. This guy has designed this map, so the only way that you can successfully carry the logs through is to use a wheelbarrow. He, that's, he, he wants us using a wheelbarrow, doesn't he? That is the only option we've got. Am I going to get logs along this road? Look at it. Look how... I'm going to slide right off the side with anything that I try and bring along here. It's just not going to happen. Um, and then someone has uh, rather inconsiderately placed that vehicle right there. I need to go to that one a minute, like that, and then I need to recover in a garage, yeah, take that one over there, just going to back him up a bit, just away from those two ever so slightly, no particular reason, I just want to, and then we're going to go back to the blunted K20, there, and we're going to continue on our epic journey down through here. This is this this is going to be the bit where I fall off, isn't it? I'm going to get down to that corner, and I'm not going to be able to go any further. And no, constantly putting the handbrake on in order to stop myself is not cowardly. It's just sensible. Except that it's not sensible when you're off-roading, because if you put the handbrake on, you lose all control over your vehicle, and bad things happen to you. So we don't really want to do that too much, do we? Uh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Easy does it. Easy does it. There we go. Right. I'm making some pro... I'm actually making progress here. I've gotten to this far. And we had that one tipped over up there. So I don't want to go left here. I want to go straight on. And I think that will take me to the watch point. Because I... Oh, no. There, there is no... Is that a left turn? No. I don't actually know if that's a left turn or not. 
I don't think it is. I don't think I can go through that lake either. That looks very deep. Uh, yeah, very, very deep, actually. Okay, we want to go this way. We want to go up this hill here, and that should, I'm hoping, bear around to the right. A little bit away from where we were last time. Uh, now, where's it going? This this might actually be close to where we were trying to come through last time. I'm just not quite sure where it's all going to come out and meet up. No, 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 no. Don't tip over. No, you're sliding. You're sliding. No, don't, 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 don't tip over. Please, I'm begging you. I am begging you. I'm on my knees and begging you. I have no pride or shame left in me whatsoever. I am just going to get down on my knees and beg and cry and plead. Please don't tip over. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's just, just bring this one up through here. There we go. And... Uh, I was going to say maybe we can restore a little bit of pride to ourselves, but we're, we're beyond that now. We're beyond that point now. The pr pride has gone out the window. If you have pride and you want to maintain said pride and dignity, do not attempt to play this map. You will not come out. Your pride will come out in shreds. Your dignity will be destroyed. You will not have anything left. This will take everything you've got. It will consume your soul. And all that will be left is a broken husk of a person huddled in the corner, weeping quiet tears. I could have done it if only it hadn't quite slipped off the edge. I could have done it. I had it in me. It was the... I had the potential and I just failed. I failed. Okay, I'll stop now. Um, well, where do we... Have I got to keep going on? I don't get it. Have I missed a turning? Or have I got still further where i got to go? It looks like it's going out that way. I can't see anything. Did I miss a turn down there that I need to... I, I think I did. I think I've missed a turning. I think I need to turn round and go back. Um, which is not good because... I can barely, I've barely enough room to drive forwards on this track, let alone turn around and go back again. Am I supposed to do that? Oh, hang on. What's that? There's the track. There's the track that I want, and that one looks even rougher than this one. But I could just step down there, couldn't I? How, how can I get to it? Oh, it, it goes round there anyway. It, it does go that way. That is the way. Oop. Easy, tiger. Easy. No, there is, there's a fork in the road. One goes one way, one goes the other way. Which one should we take? I think we'll take the one that goes one way, which is this way. Uh, so you've got to come back on yourself, and then you've got to go over a really bad track. This one here. Look at this. And we come through here. We're probably going to have to use the winch to pull ourselves through. We're, we're going to have to winch this vehicle through in order to get... But then keep in mind where the other two watchtower points were that we've already uncovered, um, those were not easy to get to. And I'm thinking that every watch point is going to be this insanely difficult to get to. Um, I'm also thinking that I am about to tip over again. Because that is what I do best, apparently. Oh, no, 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 no. We've managed to get through that bit. There we go. Right, and we can go up through there. And... <laughs> what? is going on with this map this is just madness i tell you it's total and utter madness designed to make me weep and cry and beat my chest in frustration i can get through this we go through here there we go a little bit further and now if i can bring those two if, if those two uh, the, the two I, I was meaning that actually the, the front wheels if I can bring them up round that way, I might be able to get the rest of the vehicle to follow. That would be that would be really good. That'd be making progress, that would. Up there. Yes. Yes, we're doing this. Um oh. Okay. Now I'm having my doubts as to whether it's even physically possible. Is this map even possible with the default vehicles? I'm going to go out and on a limb here and say that it is not possible to unlock all watch points and do everything with the default vehicles on this map. I just don't think that they got what it takes. Navigational map revealed. We did it. We managed to get up here. That The road keeps going. 
The road keeps going. Where does it go? <gasps> Ooh, we've uncovered new hidden secrets. Right. Uh, so we, we came over here. That's where we came in. And we've gone through this really tricky bit. And then this road over here, that goes across that way. Uh, we were coming down there. Oh, I see that. It does. It. I thought that was a road. And then I dismissed it because it wasn't a road. But it turns out that... Um, it was actually a road, um, and my dismissing it was just a rookie mistake, where I assumed that a road would look like a road, but not on this map. Oh, no. We don't have anything as simple as a road looking like a road around here. I think to get to that watch point, we've got to come all the way back over here, and we would follow that road around here, and we go over this way, and then from there, I don't really know, but I think that would take us up to that point there, and it would also allow us to go on to there... Now, if we keep going, we've got a watch point up there. We want to come through that log kiosk, and we can get to that one. And I'm thinking that that might be the last thing that we're able to do on this episode, if we can get there without tipping ourselves over the edge here. And that's not going to be very easy, is it? No, 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 no! Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I just want to, I, I need to ease myself down here slowly, try and control it on the throttle, but I don't want to put the handbrake on because otherwise we're going to start sliding. Um, bring that through. All right. All right, we're, we're, we're in a dip at the moment, but we're, we're safe. We are relatively safe, sort of. Go on, get up round. Yes, that's it. That's it. And then on a little bit further. Don't go too far. Just take it easy. Take it steady. That's all we want to do. We'll get onto that road in a minute. We don't want to get down to that road too fast. It's the same road as this one. We just don't want to advance over it too quickly. Oop. Steady. 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 Um, I don't like the way that it's sliding. Oh, am I, am I, am I going to be all right to make it round? Sort of. Sort of. I've done it. I got round there. I got round the sharp hairpin turn. I don't think that we're going to be able to bring anything other than this vehicle along this particular track in the future. I just don't think it's going to happen. We can come along this way. And there we go. There we go. We can do this. We can do this. Look, we got... It's flat. It's level. This is easy going. We've actually got easy... Ooh. <gasps> we have a fork in the road. Which way do we go? Uh, well, I want to go that way. So really, I want to I, I, I want to go... Which is the one that's going to take me that This one. I don't want to go across the bridge. I want to go that way. So I refuse to go across the bridge. I'm going to go this way. I think going across the bridge is for other vehicles. Don't go too fast. You're getting overconfident again. We do not want to get overconfident. Overconfidence is just, it's, it's the, um, it, it spells disaster. It, it's the doom of us all. It will be our undoing. We've gotten this far. It's going to be a lot more difficult now to, like, backtrack and go over the same land again because of, you know, how far we've come and how far we've got to go if we decide to tip this thing upside down. That's this, it's going to be heartbreaking. It's actually going to crush my spirit and, and break me completely. Although, I suppose we could always go another way. We could we could try looking for a different route. I'm not sure if any such route exists, but we could still try looking for it. Now, if I can keep bringing that one forward... I'm going to go up. There's, uh, there, is, there is our destination. Um, and that road looks even more diabolical than any road we have yet encountered. It's not the fact that it's... Um, Na well, it's it's both steep and narrow and slants off to one side. Look at look at this! No! No, 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 no! Keep going, keep going, please! No, don't stop! No! <laughs> oh. Is it going to stop there? No, stop! Is it? Is it? Is it? It's, it's going to stop right there! We might be able to do something. If I can just... No, I need to just... I need, I need to get that camera down just a little bit. If I can get the camera, <laughs> I can't believe it's stuck like this. There. Right there. Advanced. Oh, no. Oh. Yes. Advanced. Uh, 
That winch. <gasps> no! I can't reach it! I, I, I can't reach... I can't reach the winch point. I need a winch point. If I can't reach any winch point at all, I am really done for. It's got to be one. What about up there? So one... I, I, I can't reach up there. Uh... It's because I can't look up there with the camera. Can I look in a bit more with the camera? That doesn't help. If I bring it that way. No. Right, at the moment it's not moved. Oh, there. There we go. Now, can I... <gasps> I can reach it. Yes. Okay, we might actually be able to rescue this. We might just... <laughs> Please let this work. Please. Down he goes. Down he goes. Yes. Handbrake off. Just keep that winch going. Keep that winch. Right. Now, we've got to this point. Um, I can actually, if, if I can just bring it round, and try and do this myself a little bit without relying on that winch. There. Handbrake on. Right. I've done it! <laughs> because of that incredible stroke of luck that we were able to just literally right at that last minute it, it balanced instead of rolling off down the hill it balanced we've done it and it's a very good job I did right winch just use use the winch I don't think that I'd be able to get up this thing if I didn't have a winch I think the winch is literally the only thing that is allowing us to save this Bring that up a little bit further. Ah, I see. Take that one off and stop. Stop right there. We've actually done it. We've actually got to the top. Look at this. We've made it. Now I'm I'm curious about where else we can go. Okay, we're going to stop right there a minute. Advanced. Stop engine. Let's just take a break a second and take a little look around. So we're up here, and the road, we could actually continue on. That is a really difficult road. We managed to get, I cannot believe it hovered there on its end. It, it, it literally just sat there, right up on its end, just for that bit. Right, well, the road keeps going that way and goes back across the river over here, which is going to actually take us towards that watch point there. So we can start working our way into this corner. And there's a garage in there that could take four points. If we could get that garage unlocked, that would just be absolutely fantastic. Now, we come out of the garage up this way and we come on round. We could also, I think, come into it from this direction uh, to get to that watch point. So we, we kind of got multiple options on that one. Uh, do we want to try and turn? We've got a garage just there. We, this log kiosk, it sort of, we went across, we could go across the bridge and that unlocked other bits. We'll worry about that next time. That's all I'm doing today. My nerves can't take much more of this. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithkar. Goodbye and see you later.